Hi, Mike, and today I've got another toilet to unclog. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. All right, well, I'm at a friend's house, and he has uh, told me that the toilet is plugged. Doesn't look so bad. He's tried to plunge it, but he says it just doesn't go down, so let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. Yep, so it is plugged. All right, we're gonna get some tools out and get this fixed. All right, so the water is slowly creeping back down into the bowl. It is uh, almost to the rim. So uh, generally my first step would be to get a, a bucket of water. And uh, if the water level is low, it works pretty well. And I just take the bucket of water and dump it right into the hole. And it, uh, pretty good success, believe it or not, of, of clearing the... Uh, the clog. Uh, this water is too high, so I'm going to bypass that and go right to the plunger. Uh, plunger is my weapon of choice. It uh, will clear most of the issues I have. And so this is his plunger. And I like this plunger because it's got a, a bigger bellows and a, a smaller, more focused hole. But people make the mistake of trying to plunge this just by sticking it in the hole and starting to plunge. And you can't do that. Uh, air compresses. So this whole thing right now is full of air. And so what you want to do is get it full of, I'll call it water, but we know what it really is. And so I'm just going to hold it against the side here and compress it. And I want this thing to fill with water. And so I'm going to put it in the hole and slowly push it in. You can see the air coming out. And once I let it go, it'll refill with water. So now it should be mainly full of water. And so I want to seal it against the hole and some quick strokes. And I think I got it. Not yet. So you can see though that the water level has gone down somewhat. And so uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what what I uh, would do with the with a bucket of water even though the water level is still pretty high but I've got a, a bucket of water here probably a gallon and a half and I'll put it right into the toilet and that's a great sound so let's try to let's try to flush it you can see the water level is very low so what this may just do is refill the bowl with water. So we'll let that fill up and see uh, see what happens. Okay, so the toilet has refilled, the water has turned off. You can see that the water in there is pretty clear. That's a, a decent sign. I'm going to flush it and see what happens. Okay, success. Well, unclogging that toilet took all of about two minutes. Uh, had none of that worked, I would have uh, got out my snake. It's a, a closet auger specifically designed for toilets. It's got a rubber boot on the bottom of it so you don't scratch the porcelain. Uh, you can get them at a home center for probably 30 bucks and it uh, goes down the hole of the toilet. You crank on it, push it in and out, and uh, uh, it'll go through the trap and clear out whatever is, is the problem. But as you can see, uh, I didn't need it in this case and that's the, the last thing I usually go to because Honestly, I don't like touching it. It's dirty and, uh, and nasty, and a, a bucket of water and a plunger works uh, nearly all the time. Well, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested in our franchise opportunity, I'll leave a link for that in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.